These Rice Krispie treats are flawless and you'll want to make these for your next event. It's lunch with Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa and I make quick and easy healthy meals. And sometimes I make treats and I call it my weekend treat series. And it's weekend treats because you're not supposed to eat these all the time. You can have anything in moderation. Going through and letting go of some disordered eating stuff, I have incorporated all foods and back into my diet, so nothing is off limits. So sometimes I wanna make Rice Krispie treats. So this recipe is by Jessie Sheehan. She claims that this is how you make your Rice Krispie treats even better, and it's something you probably have in your pantry right now. So you'll want an eight by eight inch by two inch or nine by nine baking pan. I'm using a metal pan just because I like the square edges. You'll need some cooking spray and a really large pot. For the ingredients, you're gonna need a half a cup of unsalted butter, one 10 ounce bag of mini marshmallows, plus one cup, so go ahead and grab two bags, one tablespoon vanilla, one teaspoon fine sea salt, six cups of Rice Krispies, flaky sea salt, if that's your bag, a third of a cup of sweetened condensed milk. This is the key ingredient. The first step is to grease your eight by eight inch pan with cooking spray, or you can use softened butter. Then place all your butter in a large pot on the stove and melt it over medium heat. Now I like to do this for an extended amount of time till it starts foaming and it gets a little bit brown. So I'm gonna make browned butter because that just makes the flavor otherworldly. Then add your sweetened and condensed milk to your butter and stir it with a rubber spatula for about two minutes. The butter and condensed milk should combine, but it's gonna look like a curdled mess. Add the marshmallows and stir this until it's melted and smooth. Then add the vanilla and salt and stir it again. Off the heat, add your Rice Krispies and your remaining cup of marshmallows and stir this to combine. The extra cup of mar mini marshmallows for folding in at the last minute is optional. Not everyone likes their Rice Krispie treats as gloopy as others, so you don't have to add it if you don't want to. The tablespoon of vanilla works wonders with the melted buttery marshmallows too. So you're gonna transfer your mixture to your prepared pan and then press this down lightly. You can use a sheet of plastic wrap or you can use your spatula or an offset spatula or your fingers if you wanna put some butter on your fingertips, but you don't wanna pack these down too tight. You want them to stay inherently soft and gooey. So if you press it down too tight, they're gonna get kind of hard. Then if you want to, sprinkle the top with the flaky sea salt. Let this sit on the counter for at least an hour to set up. And then you're gonna cut this into 16 slices and serve. So they're small servings. Any leftovers can be stored in an airtight container on your counter for three days, but I bet it won't last that long because you're gonna take it to a party. You're not gonna eat it all. Or you have a big family and they'll just devour this in a few seconds, I'm sure. Or if you're a single mom like me and you have just one child at home, you will have a couple and put away the rest in the fridge for later. It lasts longer in the fridge, but when you take it out, let it rest for a little bit so it still stays a little gooey. I mean, it's it's still a little gooey straight from the fridge. They're so dang good. And I made this a while back and I'm just shooting the talking head video now. So I don't have any on hand because yes, they're all gone. We eventually ate them all up. They're so good. And I'm, if you really want to make a bigger tray of this, just double the recipe. Yeah. So you don't have to watch me eat in this video, which is always nice for some of you. I know not everybody wants to see me eat or hear my mouth chew. So give these a try, leave a comment down below if you do, and let me know what you think. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this recipe, I'm sure you're gonna love this one too. Go and check it out, and I will see you in my next video. It's lunch with Lisa.